been written into reality. <laughs> you know, when you consider, you know, old folk tales and wise tales, fables, campfire stories, well, they're reserved for just that, and it goes no further. This is the only story that would be written into reality. All right? Which brings me right here. Psalms, the 33rd chapter. And starting at the 6th verse, it says, By the word of the Lord were the heavens made. Yeah, and who would this word of the Lord be here? It would be none other than our Lord, Yahweh Shah. Which pursuant to the book of Revelation, the 19th chapter, it tells you how one of the many titles of our Lord would be the word of God. Which, by the way, when you go into this word, word right here in the Hebrew, the word that would be the bar, which one of the definitions they give you is an extension of. <laughs> so your words is an extension of you. So in essence, our Lord Yahweh Shah would be an extension of the Heavenly Father. See again, by the word of the Lord were the heavens made, and all the host of them by the breath of his mouth. So our Lord Yahweh Shah created the heavens and the earth and all the host within it, man. See that? Proving that he was there from the very beginning. See? And I'm going to just throw this out there as a disclaimer. This is not for the faint-hearted. This is for the serious-minded. Those of you who are, you know, spiritually invested in this thing and truly understand the power in which you serve and the fact that this idea, this doctrine is not of this realm. This is a doctrine of the heavens, which again will eventually be played out here on this stage, the planet Earth. See that? Verse 8, it says, Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. For he spake, and it was done. See? 